What's good, y'all? It's Carfee back with some news. You see this video right here, man. I'm seeing captions talking about Taco Bell employee car sleeping on the job. Nah, man, it's more like Taco Bell employee nodding off on the job, man, and hit his head. That's all bad. Yo, it's scary out here. We talk about this all the time, man. That Fenty, with it, 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 that Trank, all that ish out there. It's just, come on, man. Like, we broke it down before. The drug business is a big business, right? But you make money from repeat customers, not nodding off, letting your soul slip away and dying. That's not a repeat customer. That's uh, death, right? So do the math, man. Motherfuckers is getting X'd out and they're doing it to themselves. I mean, you got to get help. You got to get help. But I mean, it's we see what's going on, y'all. Comment happen inside they were disappointed that's because they claim they're not getting enough money to represent those who need public attorneys this case is slated to last for about a year and if you were to do the math it'd be six dollars an hour i can't take any new cases i can't close any cases i just i need something to survive off of Criminal defense attorney for... Angela D. Williams calling out the Georgia Public Defender Council, which is the state agency that appointed her to represent one of the defendants charged in the Young Slime Life gang case against rapper Young Thug and his alleged associates. But we were under the impression that GPDC was advocating for us. And once they put those walls up, I'm thinking maybe I need to start an OnlyFans. D. Williams says she came to court today hoping to question GPDC's executive director, Amatayo Ali. I asked for additional funds back in March, and that was met with a letter from the director saying she doesn't need to meet with me anymore. You feel me, right? Comment, comment. Damn, six dollars an hour. When you do the math, it's all bad. It's all bad. Public defenders. There's a really great show. Better Call Saul just came to a conclusion not that long ago, but there's a clip in one of the earlier seasons. You know, it tells the story how Saul Goodman or Jimmy McGill later on became Saul Goodman. And, you know, it ties all into Breaking Bad and everything like that. But in his early days, you know, just getting into the law game, he did a public defender case and there was like three or four co-defendants. And uh, they they all got found guilty. They did some old file ass ish. Comment if y'all remember the part that I'm talking about. But anyways, when he went to cash out that check, he got paid for one defendant. And he's like, whoa, whoa, hold on. I rep four people. This public defender work ain't about ish. And they said, hey, take it up with somebody else. I'm just a, a motherfucker at the window or whatever, you know. But um, just kind of reminded me of this. Like so often when, uh, you know, the term public pretender, et cetera. And, you know, there really is public defenders out there that do try to good work, try to do good work to represent their clients and everything. There really is. It's a very low percentage, in my opinion. But, um, you know, that's probably what happens a lot of the time is they're trying to grind it out and pay the bills. And they don't want to sit there and take a case to trial and do all that when they're getting some weak ass paychecks. But this is a mess, man. This um, YSL case, Doug is trying to get a bail still. Uh, word came out the other day. They were saying that this case is uh, going to break Fulton County records for the longest case ever going on in the, in the history of that justice system there so i don't know maybe she will start an only fans hey like dead serious i know she was just cracking jokes or maybe there was a little seriousness to that you know when she sees the only fans bag motherfuckers is getting um yo could 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 like despite that she's a big old broad um which hey some people like that i'm not hating um could y'all imagine that though if she made an only fans and then no jumper and all the blogs started picking it up like lawyer in in YSL young slime life Rico case blood gang tied to young Doug is uh getting freaky on the only fans she probably would see a hefty bag you know people will tune in just for that story seriously comment let me know what y'all think
And then we got this video of Posty. I did a video over on the other channel the other day where Post Malone was letting people know, hey, I'm okay. Um, I, I quit smoking, or I'm sorry, I quit drinking soda. I'm quitting drinking. I'm, I'm living healthier and everything like that, you know, because people were saying Posty be looking all twisted. And there's been a lot of videos of him in the past looking like he was nodding on stage and everything. But he says, nah, man, I'm just living a healthier lifestyle. Y'all let me know what you guys think. I mean, listen, Posty's made it clear he likes to party back in the day, but I don't know, man. Could he just be losing weight from a healthier lifestyle or is he looking too fucked up? Comment. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Sub up and stay tuned for Morris Coffee. Peace.